it's actually the management of your operation that is difficult and there are not really enough tools in the client unless you're a masochist that likes using the notepad. Hey guys, this is Mupa Sega on behalf of Mupa Corp. Uh, I'll be making a little video series here on some of the tools and some of the features of, of a personal passion project, which is a, an Excel kind of workbook and, and system for managing manufacturing operations in EVE Online. Um, this is by no means the be all and end all. There are some really cool spreadsheets out there that a lot of people have made. Um, this is wanting to, I guess, share with the community some of the things that might be possible. Uh, I hope it doesn't f feel overwhelming. If it's overwhelming, it's, it's, it's not as difficult as it looks, um, but it might help you just consider different ways of uh, approaching your own operation and making industry a little bit more um, enjoyable in Eve Online because I find that I find that industry in Eve Online is is great. It's actually the management of your operation that is difficult, and there are not really enough tools in the client unless you're a masochist that likes using the Notepad. Um, there is just not enough tools in the client to really be serious about managing a big operation, especially if you're a solo player like I am. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I think the most important thing to, to stress is that all of the systems, the tracking of building our components, the tracking of building the ships, getting the prices of everything, the, the tracking of how much did our blueprints cost and all this kind of stuff, this is all leading to one uh, goal and that goal is being able to turn up in a market and know exactly how much a product cost us uh, to, to get there right and all of that information ends up coming here right so I will say okay I have anathemas to sell what is the most recent cost of anathemas for me uh, the, the most recent cost was they cost me 19 million and 911,000 isk to make. Um, and I should sell them at this price here and I can change that. Let's say I'm going for 18%, I'm going for 23%. What would that, what would that number be so that I can have, well now ordinarily I would be in the game and I would have this open over here. So I would have the window, I would have the window up and where you see here and I would have the price here and it, and it would just be easy for me to go, okay, so this is how much I need to sell it for, uh, blah, 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 yeah. So how does this work? This pulls very simply, this is the most basic of basic here. Um, this is only pulling, we're doing a, a very uh, simple X look up here. We're looking for anathemas and I'm looking up anathema in my log of, um, of ship things yeah so here we have what looks to be something like 2400 jobs so there's about 2400 jobs that i've done uh making ships and turrets and tech one and tech three and that kind of stuff here yeah so what this xlookup does uh xlookup will search for the criteria that i asked for which is anathema it will look for it in this column here which is column c now this is something that i specify and then it will will return uh, the the value in this one here, which will be the cost per, I believe, in this one here. So the cost per, yeah. Now, um, the cost per accounts for taxes coming in, it accounts for manufacturing costs and all that kind of stuff as well. So it's all right there. You don't need to, you want to build that into your system before you get to this point. Uh, now, the, the, the nice thing about XLOOKUP, it is only available if you're running Office 365, by the way, so you, there's still other ways of doing it. There's still index match and some ifs and that kind of stuff. But the special thing about XLOOKUP is that uh, you can search from the 
from the bottom to the top like ordinarily you would you would do a query and it would go from the top to the bottom but the thing is that these jobs are ordered from the the most recent at the bottom yeah so i i want to find the most recent uh pricing on on a product that i've made yeah so we see the lesions here we see loki's jackdaws hecate's five spipples made for 36 mil each and this kind of stuff so i don't want to i want to be able to search from the bottom to the top to get the most recent information as to um, what uh, what that product is worth so that's what the x lookup is doing there so that first x lookup is is doing that now i have a recommended cell there as well just to just to be a bit of a guide for me just to be a bit of a guide so that i can look at this now, very simply, all this is doing, it is saying, okay, well, take the price of of this. We've 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 kind of um, embedded the final uh, sums and the, the formulas in a round function here as well, because I want to round it up or down. But don't don't worry about the round up here. But um, what is happening? The recommended sell price is taking this price, and then we times it by one minus or one plus sorry uh the the percentage that we're looking here yeah so this if you were to break this down it would actually be 0 0.23 now we've got formatting on there like this we've gone and we've turned on percentage but if you were to break this down and actually look at that that would be um 0 0.23 now there is also some other stuff going on in the background here. What you can't see is that there is these th these um, these little check boxes here or, or flip box. I don't really know what they're called. Are actually connected to this cell here. All right. Now what you don't see uh, here's a little trick for you is what you don't see is the actual number in that cell because it is because it is the same color as the background. All right. Now, if I was to take the font color here and take it from that to something like that, you can see that there is actually a number in there, right? So when I when I flick this, that number actually changes. So this is a format control that is linked to cell Y1, and when I and when I change it, it changes those values. This one changes it by five percent at a time. This one changes it one percent at a time, or one at a time. It's not actually a percentage. It doesn't become a percentage until we do it here, right? Um, so what then happens is that this, I'm going to turn that back by the way. So now you can't see it. Um, but what that does is it will then take that value that you see, which is here. And then it's one plus whatever is in there and whatever is in there, that value is actually this value divided by 100. So that's how we get our decimal there. Um, so you can imagine that it is actually 1 plus 0 0.21, which makes, so we're actually timesing the cost per times by, the cost per times by 1.21. So that gives us our final percentage. So when I change that, it will be 1.26, blah, blah, blah. So, so very simply giving us our recommended cell value just to keep it, so you just so that I, I don't need to do maths um, because I don't want to do that. So that's the that's the very first tool here. That's the pricing tool. I guess I did that one first because everything everything before this, the tracking of everything, the warehouse, the overview, all that kind of stuff. It is all so that we can it is all so that we can get to the market in the end and know the exact pricing of our product. Thanks a lot, guys. I will uh, catch you in the next video where we will might I might go from the beginning here and we'll look at something like this, which is a um, this is the kind of t this is the tool that I use to tell me what I need to build. Let's say I want to build frigates today. Amar Kaldari Galente Mimitar. What do I need to build? Let's turn it on. Let's turn on tech. Tech two. We need to make crusaders, buzzards, hawks, raptors, blah, blah, blah. OK, thank you.